group B streptococci it is also called as GBS are only one organism that is pathogenic to humans in this group B streptococci is uh, streptococci agalactiae so group B streptococci this group B streptococci streptococcus agalactiae normally causes uh, a severe form of infection in neonates in babies there is meningitis and pneumonia whereas in adults it can cause uh, postpartum sepsis urinary tract infections and it is a facultative anaerobic organism it is catalase negative as uh, uh, ste all streptococcus are catalase negative this is also a streptococci that's why it is catalase negative it won't produce any oxygen bubbles in uh, hydrogen peroxide solution and it is group specific carbohydrate antigen B is present on these organisms so that's why group B streptococci it has group B specific antigen carbohydrate antigen that is Lansfield antigen it is beta hemolytic in nature it has hemolysis so you can see beta hemolysis on blood agar culture medium it is hepurate positive in hepurate solution it can hydrolyze this hepurate to produce benzoic acid and glycine so it is hepurate positive it is camp positive camp positive is not uh, the cyclic amp the camp positive is is uh, the camp test uh, is uh, the name comes uh, from the scientists who started invented this test called Christine Atkin Munich and Peterson that's why camp test it is not cyclic AMP in this camp test also it's positive the camp test always refers as whenever the staff, staff areas colonies are present whenever you inoculate these organism group B streptococci adjacent to the staph areas colonies and blood agar you can see more beta hemolysis that's what we will call it as a cam factor so the cam factor is positive in group B streptococci it is one of the diagnostic tool for identifying the group B streptococci it is bacitracin resistance whenever it is compared with the uh, group a streptococci streptococcus pyogenes this organism is resistant whereas group a streptococci is uh, bacitracin sensitive in bacitracin containing media a uh, group b streptococci will grow comfortably whereas uh, group a streptococci are not resistant they won't grow in bacitracin containing medium and these organisms are capsulated with polysaccharide capsule especially the third serotype for this capsule the three serotype serotype three is more virulent in causing meningitis and pneumonia in babies and it is a higher incidence rate of meningitis you can see from these bacteriums from this bacterium that's why it is called as most common cause of bacterial meningitis in neonates so this is the camp factor test or camp test so in this camp test you can see this picture here this is a blood agar culture plate petri dish on this plate you can see the staph areas colonies whenever these staph areas colonies are present whenever you inoculate some small group b streptococcus you can see you can see an extinction of beta hemolysis extinction of beta hemolysis increased amount of beta hemolysis adjacent to the staph areas these are group b streptococcus colonies but these group b streptococcus colonies whenever they are nearer to the staph areas you can see a more hemolysis of red blood cells occurs in these areas so that's what we will call it as cam factor the beta hemolysis increases by group b streptococcus whenever they are present nearer to the staph areas organisms whereas if you see group a streptococcus entire organisms are beta hemolytic whereas here they are very thin beta hemolytic but here you, they can produce a very prominent uh, beta hemolytic colonies nearer to the staph areas they enhance the zone of hemolysis so there is hepurate test there is a hepurate test <coughs> Hepurate is a crystal clear liquid. So, if you take a hepurate uh, liquid in one test tube, if you add uh, these organisms to this test tube, consists of hepurase enzyme, 
So these hippurase will be hydro hydrolyzed by this group B streptococcus to make benzoic acid and glycine. Whenever this glycine is produced, if the organisms are producing glycine, in this test, in this test they will also add uh, ninhydrin. Whenever we add ninhydrin, ninhydrin cross reacts with glycine and that cross reaction will lead to cause a color change in this hippurate liquid. Hippurate liquid. So we can call this color change whenever an organism is hippurate positive. So that organism has to break, hydrolyze the hippurate into benzoic acid and glycine. Whenever the glycine is produced, if it cross reacts with ninhydrin, you can see the color change. So if you see the color change in hippurate test, that resembles that it is hippurate positive. Very few organisms are hippurate positive like group B streptococcus and campylobacter which is most common cause of dysentery in humans and this is hippurate negative there is no color change that means the organism which are inoculated here they can't hydrolyze the hippurate solution into benzoic acid and glycine so glycine is not produced here so there is no color change here the glycine is produced by hydrolysis of hippurate so you can see the purple colorness epidemiology these organisms are seen in upper respiratory tract and genitourinary tract. So in newborn infection, always the newborns are more prone to have this infection through birth canal from mother to child. Whenever through normal deliveries, the babies will get this infection from the genital tract of the mothers. So most of 25% of the pregnant women are positive for this organisms in the genital areas so these are the things these are the susceptible condition which can lead to cause infection in babies through birth canal deliveries a premature membrane rupture a prolonged labor a preterm birth can always have a chance of getting this infection to the babies newborn infections so in women they always have a chance of getting postpartum sepsis after the delivery they always have a chance of getting infection septicemia in men and women always you can expect to see urinary tract infection by these organisms whereas the meningitis is especially predominant by the serotype group 3 capsular antigen serotype of organisms are most commonly causes meningitis so this is the number one cause of bacterial meningitis causing organism in neonates and the organism the exact serotype is group 3 capsular antigen serotype is the specific organism which is high number in causing meningitis coming to the pathogenesis so pathogenesis mainly occurs because of capsule polysaccharide capsule especially the third serotype capsular third serotype and its hydrolytic enzymes like hemolysins which can damage the tissues these are the two prominent virulent factors which can lead to cause the damage are causing infection in humans clinical conditions we can see neonatal meningitis this organism can lead to cause neonatal meningitis is one of the most common cause of meningitis in babies it can cause pneumonia neonatal pneumonia septicemia postpartum sepsis urinary tract infection in both a man and woman and endometritis especially occurs after the delivery in women so clinical features here is the animated uh, version of clinical feature representation this organism can cause meningitis in babies neonates so whenever it causes meningitis in that babies you can see fever high fever poor feeding irritability we can expect to see bulging frontinella and if it is untreated it can lead to seizures and death so in these patients in blood samples and csf samples you can see increased number of pmn cells you can see a slightly elevated protein levels and decreased glucose levels glucose levels so that indicates it is specifically caused by a bacterial organism that is group b streptococcus especially in babies who are having low immune system and it can also cause pneumonia 
whenever during delivery during normal delivery through birth canal whenever the genital secretion the genital secretion enters into the respiratory tract of babies that can lead to cause pneumonia so in pneumonia the babies will have a fever chills cough starting they will have a dry cough later on it will become into a plurulent one <clears throat> plural effusion and accumulation of fluid around inside the pleural membranes in the pleural cavity pleural space and we can see consolidation fluid fill lungs and ultimately whenever you would take an x-ray you can see infiltrations especially in the lung chest x-rays they can cause septicemia whenever these organisms enters into the bloodstream they can cause septicemia with fever malaise myalgia anorexia septicemia and in adults you can see postpartum sepsis after the delivery they can have the females will have a septicemia postpartum sepsis sepsis uti urinary tract infection both males and females are susceptible for this endometritis endometrium will get inflamed because of this organism entry into the tissues can lead to cause, end cause endometritis so coming to the diagnosis so we can diagnose by taking the specimens from csf and blood you can expect to see these organisms in blood you can see the increased number of pmn cells neutrophils you can see slight increased levels of protein and decreased glucose levels that indicates the bacterial infection camp positiveness on culture medias you can specifically see the enhanced hemolytic areas by adding these organisms adjacent to the staph areas organisms they are hepirate positive these organisms can hydrolyze hepirate into benzoic acid and glycine so you can see by adding ninhydrate you can see the color change in the hepirate test bacitracin resistance they grow in presence of bacitracin in the culture media when compared to group A streptococci their capsular antigen polysaccharide capsule you can observe this polysaccharide capsule with Indian ink test so the treatment we can treat group B streptococci or streptococcus egalactiae by penicillin G penicillin is a drug of choice in people who are sensitive to penicillin we can also give vancomycin to these patients 